Speaking of the cast, it came together because of passion, because they really, they see something about the film that's exciting or important. The cast has been so tremendous. It's really just been so exciting to watch all these great, talented people work together. Angela and Forrest have a friendship and I think it really shows in their relationship on screen. I had already you know, known Angela as an actress you know, for years, so it's been really exciting to get a chance to work with her and watch her work and see the emotional depth that she's able to portray. It really helps connect me in the scene and I feel like even when I'm up on the pulpit and she's behind me, I can still feel her energy. Everybody on set is focused, but for us, when it's time to roll, I don't hear a joke out of him, I don't hear anything. He comes to do his business, and um, that's what I respect about him the most. Mary J, you know, um, is such a gift. To be a part of this cast is just amazing. I've worked with Angela Bassett, you know, recently in the Betty and Coretta movie, and Forrest is a friend of ours, and I'm a huge fan of his work, so it's been like a real treat watching Forrest Whitaker work. One of my songs is with the incomparable <laughs> uh, Jennifer Hudson. So I, I tell my friends, oh, you know, I have a duet with Jennifer, and then of course I make a face like, oh, isn't that just impossible? I wrote the character of Naima for Jennifer Hudson, and I wrote the character of Luke for Tyrese. I, I was just delighted that they said yes, because they were who I had in mind, and I really knew that I wanted Jennifer Hudson and, and Tyrese. Being around Angela Bassett and Forrest Whitaker made me realize that there is another level to this thing called acting. Jennifer, from a acting standpoint, but also from a singing standpoint, has brought tears to our eyes when She's singing in a church, you know, with a hundred people singing. All you hear is her voice because her voice is just so spectacular. I'm here working with Forrest and Angela. These are two people I've always looked up to, admired, grew up watching their projects, and I've always been a fan of theirs, and now they're playing my mom and my dad. I knew I needed to rest my movie on this 15-year-old kid's back, and even though I met a lot of other kids, there was no one like Jacob. It was no question in my mind that it was gonna be Jacob Lattimore. Jacob, 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 he's so mature. I didn't know he was 16 years old. I mean, it was a real treat to, to find out that he was so young still. When they roll action, um, you know, it actually feels pretty natural up there. Uh, it feels a lot more comfortable than anything else I do. He is so amazing and he's so cute. He's just adorable. I think he's doing an amazing job. This is, I think it's like his second or so project. And he has a lot of weight on his shoulders. Luke James, young recording artist, got nominated for Grammy this year, is JoJo. So he works with Grace a lot and is in Silent Night. He's a wonderful singer. He's a great talent. He teaches me a lot. We have a bunch of fun together. Gratefully, like I'm really happy that we have a natural chemistry, so it works really well on camera. Grace is such a flower child to me, you know, I mean, she's just so bubbly, so happy, just cool, just ready to go. Kudos to Casey for, you know, casting such an awesome cast. You know, I just think everybody's just awesome. Nas being on the record is just, he's an amazing, amazing rapper and one of the best in the in the business. There's Jennifer Hudson, there's Angela Bassett, Forrest Whitaker, Tyrese. You have the new talent, Jacob. You have Luke and you got Harlem, New York City. How could you miss that? 